Yeah, kia ora whanau. It's um, Lewi back here. One of the things I want to just touch base with you about is the yellowing of my leaves and why that might be happening. So I've got a kind of three or four jungle tips that might be helpful to, and for you to think about. But can you see how I've got, got yellowing going on here? Um, same too with my papapa over there and over there. Now, you also will find these on the tomatoes, particularly if they don't get much sun. But I just want to have a little quick chat about that. So firstly, it might be a lack of potassium uh, in the soil. Um, so it can be one of the signs that the yellowing is happening and there's not enough uh, uh, potassium in there. And so last week, thinking about that, I uh, dropped down some blood and bone um, and some sheep pellets around this mutter and my spinaches are starting to come back. So that's one, lack of potassium. Two, um, I could be uh, overwatering it or underwatering it uh, for this type of type of season, uh, type of time of year. Um, that's not really the case for us on this situation. Um, I haven't been watering it um, terribly much, um, so I don't think that would be the problem. Uh, the other one is soil compaction. Now I do have a bit of of problems with this both on this mutter here and that one there uh, whereas the other ones seem to be pretty good and uh, from memory uh, when we had the youth come through and prepare this bed and when I laid this bed down this bed here we used a broad fork to open up the soil uh, but as it was gone through winter um, the soil has compacted and so you might find that the roots are root bound underneath or a bit tight so I have to loosen up the soil a bit and just give some aeration uh, um, to, to, to the soil. This one on the other hand, uh, this was a no dig, uh, just uh, laid a, a garden down, down on top of this, um, the grass, cut the grass down short, put down cardboard and then lay compost on top. Now I think this is actually a combination of a, of a couple of things for this particular one. Uh, firstly potassium uh, because it's a um, and effectively a, a no toil bed and um, I've had a number of vegetables through this, lettuces and this lot here I've got cabbage, uh, silver beet, I had spring onions in here and I've also got, uh, what's this one, cucumbers, yep, I've got a cucumber uh, growing in here. So I think this one's a, a number of things. Firstly, I've got too many variety of plants in here. Possibly, someone could tell me if that's wrong, but I think they're all competing for the nutrients. And so um, it's it's harder for them to to get what they're, they're needing. Secondly, um, I, I need to add in more healthy soil compost into that, because it's like, it was just a, a compost that I laid on top and did this as a no toil, no dig um, garden. Um, so yeah, uh, potassium, overwatering, underwatering, root bound, which is soil compaction, the soil is too tight, which I think was what's happened with my tap up over here. Um, it's confined into a box and I, I reckon if I actually dug in there, I'll find a lot of roots that are, that are straining and um, are lacking uh, the nutrients that they need in there. So that, they'll be root bound, and that's why that's you know, starting to go yellow. Um, but yeah, uh, just a little advertising around the yellowing. What do you think? I think it's probably possibly a combination of all those. Uh, but over here, I'll put them all full in. I've actually gone through with a um, little reiki. Thing. Loosen up the soil a bit, uh, put blood and bone down and some um, sheep pellets. Same over here, sheep pellets, but I'm going to need to put some more compost in, I think. But those are coming off. They, they were all yellow last week, but they're all look like they're starting to come back again. Uh, yeah, alright. That's a little side trick, but since it's here, I must use it as a lesson. The yellowing. Potassium, too much watering or not enough watering depending on the time of season you are, 
uh, compact soil or root bound, um, there's not enough um, aeration in the soil for the roots to go and seek out the nutrients it needs. Um, or what I've done here, I've put too much in in a small space so they're competing uh, for the nutrients in the soil. So the only way that I can actually fix that is by putting a lot in um, as well. All right. Goodbye, eh? Awesome. See you soon.